Olama makes it easy to get started on ridiculous ventures like making your own personal assistant cat girl. At fly.io, we're making it just as easy to get your models and projects running on the cloud, so you don't have to burn your battery when you're hacking things up on an airplane. Here's how to set up your own private Olama server on fly.io that turns itself off when you're done with it. To do all this, we're going to need to do a couple things. First, you need to have a WireGuard connection to your private fly network. Then we'll create the app, give it a Flycast address, and then finally we'll deploy it and bam, Olama server in the cloud. First, install the WireGuard app on your computer or the WireGuard tools package on Linux. This gets you a persistent connection to your private fly network. Then run fly WireGuard create, import the config with the GUI or the wg quick command, and activate it. If you can ping underscore api.internal, you're in. You'll have a private connection to your fly network, and you can use this to poke your applications directly, such as your Olama server. Now that's set, create a new app and a new folder with fly launch. Give it a name and just leave the defaults alone. We're going to change them anyway. Next, we need to create a private IPv6 address for the app so the platform doesn't try to put it on the public internet by default, which, you know, that's not private. That's public. It's the opposite. Running fly ips allocate v6 private will let you create a private flycast address internal to your private network. This is what you'll use to contact the app. It's globally replicated with BGP, but don't worry, you don't need to write it down. That's what DNS is for. Now open your fly.toml in your favorite editor, such as Vim, and remove the VM block because we're going to define our own size. Set the region to ORD, and this, this is where the most GPUs for L40s are right now. Then change the, GP, the VM size to the GPU you want. At the time of me speaking, there's three options. There's the A140 gigabyte, the A180 gigabyte, and the L40S. These correlate to the Ampere A100 at 40 gigabytes and 80 gigabytes, respectively, and the Lovelace L40S at 48 gigabytes of VRAM. The mappings of what regions have the most of which GPUs are in the docs. Now, go back to your fly.toml file and add the build section and the mount section. The build section tells the platform to pull the Olama image from the Docker Hub. The mount section will create a 100 gigabyte persistent folder to store all of your weights in. Don't worry, it'll be created when you deploy. And finally, to point the platform at the Olama port, you set up an HTTP service block. And you enable automatic stopping of machines with a minimum of zero. This will make the platform automatically spin down your GPU machines when you're not using them which means you don't have to pay for them, because why should you have to pay for compute that's just sitting there doing nothing? We're not AWS. Now all that's said and done, let's deploy it. Run fly deploy, hit enter, and watch it scale right up. Now when you want to use Olama on your cloud GPU, set the Olama host environment variable to your app.flycast. Then any Olama commands will hit your big chungus in the cloud instead of your MacBook. As you see here in this screenshot, my local MacBook has a couple models, such as Llama 2 and Mistral. But the big chungus in the cloud has new MM Mixtral. As, as you see in this live demo that is clearly not pre-recorded at all, I'm running Mixtral on the cloud. And pro tip for Mixtral, you can actually get it to emit valid markdown by doing the shocking tactic of asking it to emit valid markdown. This sounds obvious, I know, but it's surprisingly good at markdown in particular. This makes it really easy to embed into other flows. And by the way, I asked it to generate citations, and I haven't fact-checked any of these, but they look real enough, and that's all that matters for most AI things, right? <laughs> and this is how easy it is to get your own private Olama server in the cloud. Additionally, if you have any applications in your fly network, you can have them poke your Olama server for you. They'll turn it on when they need it. The platform will slay it off when you don't. It's all good. An example of this is this, uh, I guess we'd call it a public art project of mine explores the dead internet theory that takes in a couple things. It takes in the current phase of the moon, the current astrological sign, three tarot cards, the current price of Ethereum, and it has it generate horoscopes. <laughs> Every 12 hours, it generates art, I guess? And it puts all that in a blender and creates shockingly readable articles. Just, this is San Francisco, so I have to qualify do not take financial advice from an art project. <laughs> and that's about it. I've been Z Yasso from fly.io, and thank you for having me out here and giving you a blatant product demo. If you have any questions, my employer paid for me to come out here. Just catch up with me. I'm more than happy to answer. And if I don't get them and you really need an answer, email productdemo at zserve.us. Have a good evening, everyone.